can't come in here with me. Refreshing. Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie, and we're at my home. So, Mark, did you know that 80% of the world uses bidets? Really? Not just Japan? No, not just Japan. Japan. It's well used throughout Europe and most of Asia. Just Americans seem to have a problem with bidets. But we don't have one. No, we don't have one yet. Mm, is that what's in the box? That's what's in the box. So we have been kind of looking at these toilets at uh, CES every year in the Toto booth. And we've traveled, we've both traveled to Japan and uh, we've used these bidet seats before. So we finally got one. Uh, we didn't get one uh, earlier this year when there was a toilet paper craze, but if there is a toilet paper shortage again, we are going to be all set. That's assuming I can install this. I hope so. Anyway, we've had this for a couple weeks, but I figured that it was never going to get installed unless we did a video. So here we are. Now this is a little different from other things we do. It doesn't have an app. It doesn't talk to Alexa or Google, but it does have a remote. Oh, well, that's good. So why don't we open it up and check it out? So what is it we what's the name of this thing? This anyway. is a Toto Washlet. Toto Washlet TCF four nine one one UR. Yeah, but I think it's the SW three zero five six that really counts. Maybe. So the one thing we did before we bought this though is we did measure the toilet because they come in a standard toilet and elongated and you have to make sure you got it right. But you can go on the Toto website and uh, they have the instructions on how to They have all that. the specs to make sure you can measure it and make sure it works. Yep. The other thing you need before you buy one of these is you need to have power near your toilet. So we had our electrician come in and put in an outlet for us. So it should be pretty easy to install this yeah. once we get it out. We're going to find out. All right, so let's see. All right, here it is. Well, that's a lot of stuff. I'm not sure what this graphic means. It means uh, when you take it out, don't lift it by the seat, lift it by the base. I'll lift it by the base. So let's turn that around so we can see that. Let's see. So lift it by the base, not by the seat. Okay. All right. So what do we got here? There's a lot of stuff in here. It is. All right. Request to the installer. Be sure to attach the cushioning pads in order to reduce the sound that is created when the toilet seat lid hits against the toilet tank lid. Oh, Window frame wall. Well, okay. Okay, so this is the uh, device that goes, and you know where you normally mount your toilet seat. This is the guy that goes on there. This is the mounting bracket. All right. Oh, here's the safety precautions. All right. Wow. <laughs> this is a big book. <laughs> It's like we got a VCR or something. Wow. It must be in multiple languages, right? Well, yeah, good. This is, uh, well, there's looks like multiple things in here. There's like three books. Mm. Let's see. I'll take them out of here. Well, let's do the books after we get everything out of the box because this box is in the way of the camera. That's true. All okay. right. So we've got, uh, let's see, here's a remote. Comes with some batteries. Right. Little... I think we, let's get it all out of the box and then we can take things out. Like oh, this is, this layer looks like for the water. This is some cardboard. <laughs> okay, remember, I have to pay attention to the picture. I'm going to stand up. Lift by the base. Not by the lid. Not by the by base. The lid. What does it say? It says lift by the base, not by the lid. You got to lift it. Wow. All right. I think that's it. There's nothing else in the box. Okay. This is heavy. Put it down. I mean, just look at the box. Look at this the packing thing in the box. Jeez. It's a whole All frame. All those cutouts. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right, here it is. Okay, let's take it out. And it's got lots of warnings on it. Remember, don't lift the seat. Okay, right? this is this bag is not a toy. Okay. Ooh, shiny. Shiny. Look at that. This is the elongated model. Okay. Yeah, hold, lift it I'll by hold. the base. Okay, Not by a, the seat. Got a bit of base. You got it? Okay. Okay. This is uh, a plug. It's a power plug. Here's Why the don't power we leave plug. that on there because we transport it to yeah. go install it? And this where is where it plugs into the fresh water. All right. I think that's what this is for here. So you like see there's some... like a water valve here. See there's a 
screw on type there. Mm -hmm. Another one here, another one here. So one must go to the here, and the other one must go to plug into the toilet, and then the other one is where the water source comes in. We'll see that when we install we'll it. We'll install it, okay. All right, here we go. They even make sound effects. Can you right, see well, one? it's a toilet seat. I don't know if you can see that there. And it's got a label on the inside, which I can't read right now. Let's put it back down. Okay. All right. What's it look like underneath? Let's take a look here. Got it? Got that cord? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so that's what it looks like. No, well, it's got a warning. And it's got some little brackets here and some stuff. Okay. All right. So that's Otherwise, pretty good. it looks like a toilet seat. And the back just has some labels on it. So there's the toilet seat. And what else do we have? We have this is the mounting bracket, right? So mm -hmm. that's where it goes. This, that goes onto the toilet seat. And then with this mounting bracket here, this clips into it. Okay. All right. And so we already know about the water thing. And then you got your remote. This is the remote. Should I open it up? Yeah, open it up. And this has a little mounting thing in case you want to mount your remote next to your toilet. I think you're going to want to mount the remote. I can't imagine because you could have an accident with it otherwise. What kind of accident? It might fall in. <laughs> All right. A little screws are in this bag up there. All right. Well, I'm going to leave the screws in the bag like this because I don't want to lose them. There's a lot of instructions on this. Okay. This comes in a little... Little holder. Little holder. So it's got a mounting bracket. Well, let me see. Looks to me like it just slides on this way. <laughs> Look at this plastic on it. Hmm. There we go. They had to lift it up a little bit. Oh. So there's like a, a couple of teeth that are holding it on. So you can put your mount your bracket on, right? And then this this slides in here. And snaps in place and this it won't come out right mm -hmm. so that's nice okay so that's it so we've got the mount that's through the mount on the floor and uh, the remote itself what's on the remote can we tell I think we can figure out all the labels I think so um, there's a little butt symbol and it looks like a girl I think this means air uh, I'm not sure what those other things there's are. There's volume buttons on it. <laughs> yeah, there's volume buttons. There's a plastic. I wonder yeah. if the volume buttons really mean volume or and volume of water. there's uh, settings for two different people. Um, and I think that these arrows can kind of move the water thing up and down. It's also got a display on the back, so I guess we'll find out what's on there. Now let's take a look at the directions. Oop. I don't think we're going to need those. But man, look at the Holy mackerel. Oh, I see. It's different languages. So this is in Spanish. All right, Spanish language. And this is in French. And then one in French. You know French, don't you? I don't want to install my toilet in French. It says washlet. I can read that. Is that French? <laughs> French for toilet? Okay. Thank you for your recent purchase of this product. Please read the enclosed information to ensure the safe use of your product. Okay. Keep it in a safe place for future reference. Wow. It's a lot of stuff. All but right. you You're know, the installer. I'm the installer, so let's take a look at what it takes to install this thing here. Before you begin, place a towel under the water line to the toilet tank. Then turn off the water. With the water off, flush the toilet and wait for the tank to empty. Then remove the water line from the toilet tank. There may be a little bit of water dripping, which the towel will catch. Take the T, make sure the gasket is installed, place the T on the toilet tank connector and tighten. Be sure not to cross thread and only hand tighten. Do not use a wrench. We position the middle connector towards the front of the tank so the hose from the washlet would fit neatly. Reconnect the water supply line to the bottom of the T. Again, hand tighten only, no wrench. Now we mount the seat bracket. Wet the black rubber devices, which will help with the installation. Then, remove them from the bracket and insert into the holes in the toilet. 
This was the hardest part of the installation as those rubber devices are hard to insert. We pushed them in from the top and then pulled from the bottom and finally they seated. Make sure both are flush with the toilet. Take the seat bracket and line up the screws with the rubber devices. Take care to make sure the metal locking clamps are facing front on the bracket. Make sure the clips under the screws are positioned the same on both sides. We found for us that centered worked best. Yours may be different. See the installation manual for more info on proper position. Tighten the screws and make sure the bracket is snug so the seat won't move when sat upon. Now we install the washlet. Note the metal locking clamps on the bottom, these engage with the ones on the bracket. Put the seat on the toilet, line it up, and slide it back until you hear a positive click. Pull back lightly to confirm it's locked in place. Place the rubber bumper on the toilet tank lid, so when the seat is raised it doesn't make a noise. Note. The bumper doesn't stick well to porcelain, so don't try to move it until it has a chance to bond. Now we can connect the water supply line to the washlet. Remove the plastic wrap from the end of the water supply hose. Note there's a rubber o-ring on the end. Push the connector into the T and make sure it is seated before hand tightening the plastic nut. Again, no wrench. Now turn on the water and check for leaks. Then plug the washlet into a ground fault outlet. If the outlet is new, it may take a bit of force to push it in. Oh, and make sure the outlet is on. Sometimes the outlet may be tripped, as was ours. You should see a blue light on the back of the washlet. Hold your left hand on the back left of the seat and press down. Press the wash symbol on the remote. Yes, the one that looks like a butt. The spray nozzle, called the wand, will extend and water will come out. Cover the spray with your hand. Press the off button on the remote, the square symbol, to stop. If you want, you can install the remote on the wall like we did. That's it. You've finished the installation. One nice feature of the Washlet S550E is auto open with pre-mist before you sit. It even has a cool bowl light that shines while misting. Well, what did Valerie think about her new bidet? You can't come in here with me. Refreshing. All right, so this is the remote for the Toto washlet. So uh, first important thing here on the top is this button. You push this little button and it lifts the seat and the lid in case that's what you need to do. And then that button also puts it back down. There it goes. And now these other buttons here on the top, these are for the different for the different washes. So this one on top, this is kind of a, you know, this is a wash for, you know, your butt. And then this one is a little bit wider wash. Uh, this one, and you'll notice it's not going because it's smart enough to know that I'm not sitting on it, which is nice. Uh, this is a dryer function. And then these are two different kinds of spray. One of these is a pulsating one. This is a regular spray. And so this is a this button here is a cleaning cycle for the wand. So this should actually work. You can see it does a little clean of itself. So you can do that on demand, but you probably don't really need to do that because it does it after every cycle. Now these here on the bottom, these are sliders. And so this one is a slider for um, for pressure. So whether you want it stronger or less intense. And then this one here moves the sprayer back and forth to get it in the right position. And you can set up all these and you can have two different presets. So you can have preset number two or preset number one. And that can get all your favorite settings. And while you're using this and if you get tired of it, there's a stop button right here and that will stop whatever's going on. And then here on the back, you can see this little screen, this little display. And this is where you customize it so that you know, you can have your presets, you can decide how long you want the light to be on or off, um, you know, when the seat comes up and down automatically, energy saving, and all these fancy things that you can read about in the manual. So that's it. That's the Total Washer. Thanks for watching. We've included more information about the product, including links where to buy in the description box below. 
And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you ring the bell so you can find out the next time we do a video. And for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.